This tutorial is brought to you by MLDS Networks at www.mlds-networks.com Source for all your website, email, consulting, and high-performance computing needs. Many times when operating a website, you find yourself needing to crop and resize an image. The most popular tool for doing this is Adobe Photoshop. Unfortunately though, Adobe Photoshop is extremely expensive. So for those of us who don't have access to either a library computer or a family computer that already has Photoshop, there's not many alternatives out there. Turns out there's a very good free alternative, absolutely free, that runs both on Mac, Windows, and Linux. The free tool is the GIMP. You can download the GIMP at www.gimp.org. In this case, I already have the GIMP open, and I have an image that I would like to resize. You can see here that this image is relatively large and would take a long time to download on a website. It's at 100%, so this is the real size. So I don't really actually want it this large. To do this, I can just hit Image, and Scale the Image. The locks on the size are whether or not you want to lock the aspect. That is, if your image has a, you know, a 4x3 ratio and you resize it, it will still have a 4x3 ratio. On the other hand, if you want to squish an image a little bit or stretch it, you can break the ratio and do that also. In this case, I'm going to change the units to percent. I'm going to change this to exactly 50% in size. Notice how it automatically switched to 50%. And here's what my new resolution is going to be. You can select what kind of quality. Um, normally, just cubic is the best. Just hit scale. Notice the new size. It's 100%. And the size is a lot smaller anything else I can go and hit save which would write over the old image save as or save a copy in this case I'm going to use save as so I can just a new one in this case I'm going to call it cluster admins small uh, I'm not going to leave it a JPEG the GIMP also allows me to save as several different formats and understands most of them um, the most common being JPEG GIF and PNG Others are available, but you would want to avoid those as most people's computers might not be able to read them. Sticking to PNG and JPEG are probably the best. GIF is also widely supported, but I don't recommend it. In this case, I'm going to leave it as a JPEG. Hit Save. And it's going to ask me a couple of options that are specific to JPEGs. Specifically, quality. Uh, you can hit Show a Preview. If we go back... It'll show us just how bad the it's going to look as we decrease the quality. If I crank it down to 50%, you know, it's starting getting kind of chunky around my eyes and such. If I crank it down to 11%, it's looking really bad. But notice how the size is now 6. And at higher quality, it's 16. The difference is for dial-up users, this would take around 16, um, 8 to 16 seconds to download, while this would only take 3 to 6. This is why shrinking images are very handy. You can do this a lot of times on the Joomla um, image component that MLDS includes with our websites, but sometimes you want to make images hack and slash them ahead of time. You can also choose some other options. Uh, normally you can just leave these and not worry about them. Is it safe? And that's it. Now I've saved a smaller image that I can use on my website. So let me go ahead and close that and uh, open the original image again. What if I want to just get the area around me and I want to get rid of the rest of this? I can use the box selection tool and select the area around that I actually want to keep for my image. Notice how it kind of selected it and I have boxes where I can pull and stretch and other things. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that. Simplest way I find to do this is to cut it, create a new image, paste it. I can then go ahead and save the image like normal. The GIMP is very powerful. It has drawing tools and blocks.
blurring tools and all sorts of other things you can do it also has an undo so if you ever screw up you can always just do edit undo undo many powerful parts such as being able to change the aspect and filters filters are quite fun one of the most useful ones of course is uh, a blur which can cover up stuff a little bit again the GIMP is free available for download and runs on Mac Windows and Linux it's a great alternative to Photoshop and is very useful just for someone trying to get images ready for their website if you had any problems downloading or installing GIMP or had any issues with this tutorial you can find more video tutorials at our website mlds-networks.com but if, if for questions just use the contact us form and send us an email if you have requests for any other tutorials just send us an email at admin at mlds-networks.com or use the contact us form